Hello, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, welcome back to uh, our microbiology class. Today's uh, session is on my, uh, on lichens, which is chapter 12 uh, in the book under the eukaryotes. The objectives, of the learning objectives for today, is that. Um, we should list and distinguish the characteristics of lichens and describe their nutritional needs as well as uh, we should be able to describe the role of fungus and the algae in lichens. Lichens. Uh, a lichen is a combination of a green algae or a cyanobacterium and a fungus. So lichens are placed in the kingdom of fungi and are classified according to the fungal partner, most often as an asomycid. The two organisms, they exist in mutualistic relationship in which each partner benefits. The lichens is very different from either the algae or fungus growing alone. And if the partner are separated, the lichen no longer exists. Approximately 13,500 species of lichens occupy quite diverse habitats because they can inhabit areas in which neither fungi nor algae could survive alone Lichens are often the first life forms to colonize newly exposed soil or rock. Lichens secrete organic acids that chemically weather the rocks and they accumulate nutrients needed for the plant growth. Also, they are found on trees, concrete structures and rooftops. Lichens are some of the slowest growing organisms on earth. Lichens can be grouped into three morphological categories, as you see in the picture. Crustose lichens, which grow flush or encrusted onto a substratum. Foliose lichens are more like leaf-like. And fructose lichens, which have finger light -like projections. The lichen's thallus, or in other words, the body, it forms when fungal hyphae grow around algae uh, or algal cells to become, an, uh, to become what we call the mod medulla, as you see in, in the figure 1211b. So the fungal hyphae projects below the lichen's body to form resins or holdfasts. So the fungal hyphae also form a cortex or a protective covering over the algal layer and sometimes under it as well. After incorporation into a lichen thallus, the algae continues to grow and the growing hyphae can incorporate new algal cells. When the algal partner is cultured separately, separately in, in vitro, which means in the lab, about 1% of the carbohydrates produced during the photosynthesis are released into the cultural medium. However, when the alga is associated with the fungus, the algal plasma membrane is more permeable and up to 60% of the products of uh, photosynthesis are released to the fungus or are found as an end product of fungal metabolism. So the fungus clearly benefits from this association. So the algae, while giving up valuable nutrition, is in turn compensated. It receives from the fungus both attachments, the reasons, and protection from desiccation or the cortex. The lichens had considerable economic importance in ancient Greece 
and other parts of Europe as dyes for clothing and eucinic acid from eucinia is also used as an antimicrobial agent in China. Uh, Erythrolithmin, uh, the dye which is used in litmus paper to indicate changes in pH, is extracted from a variety of lichens. Some lichens or their acids can cause allergic contact dermatitis in humans. Populations of lichens readily incorporate into cations, which are the positively charged ions, into their folly. Therefore, the concentration and types of cations in the atmosphere can be determined by chemical analysis of lichen folly. In addition, the presence or absence of species that are quite sensitive to pollutants can be used to a certain air quality. In late 1980s, a study of uh, which was performed in Ohio, United States, it revealed that 81% out of 172 lichen species that were present in early 1900s were gone. They no longer exist because this area is severely affected by air pollution. The interference is that air pollutants, primarily sulfur oxide, which is a major contribution to acid precipitation, cause the death of sensitive species. Lichens are the major food for tundra herbivores, such as caribou and reindeers. And after 1986, which was the, the Chernobyl uh, nuclear disaster in Ukraine, around 70,000 reindeers in Lapland that had been raised for food had to be destroyed because of high levels of radiation. And the lichens on which the reindeer fed had absorbed the uh, radioactive cesium-137, which has spread in the air. And um, with this, we finally have uh, concluded, have finished today's lecture on the lichens. And I hope um, everyone um, understood. And I thank you very much, everyone, for watching. Thank you.